Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Hart, and today I have four core plays for the Players' Championship here on DraftKings for the PGA. Million dollars up top to first place, so a ton of money to be won. I am bringing back the PGA videos for this channel, and they're going to be more of this format where it's just kind of the four core plays, four guys that I'm going to be playing in most of my lineups and building my lineups around for these tournaments. Uh, if you guys want more in-depth uh, PGA breakdowns, I might start doing those. Just let me know in the comments down below. But for right now, it's just going to be quick videos just going over my four top plays of that tournament and why I like them. Uh, we've had a lot of success. If you guys have been following me since last year, especially on Twitter, uh, I tweeted out a bunch of times about you know who I wanted to bet on uh, during these tournaments. Tony Finau won us a ton of money, uh, as well as to start off this PGA season, I'm a single injury uh, player for these tournaments, and I've had a ton of success so far this season. As you can see here, won 500 bucks in the first tournament of the season, the Tournament of Champions. I was sitting in 11th place, like I was top 15, top 10 for pretty much the whole day going into for all, of, you know, whole day Sunday. And I was really, really sweating the takedown. Uh, became super, super close uh, to getting that takedown. Unfortunately, the last few holes, my guys kind of fell apart and kind of fell to 29th place, but still won $500, can't complain. Had an legit actual sweat of taking down 200K to first. Unfortunately, JT Poston really screwed me on the last few holes. He came super, super close. He had like a double bogey or triple bogey on the front nine. Almost got a hole in one. It was like two inches away on the back nine. Missed some easy birdie putts. But yeah, he it was so close for him helping me take down 200K to first. I was super frustrated, but obviously can't complain about a legit sweat and almost a takedown of 200K. And then the following week, um, I think this was two weeks after. I think the following week was some random tournament that no one went to. Uh, none of the star guys, but then the following week after that, uh, easily cashed. Uh, I almost had another takedown. This lineup was in the top 100 for you know most of Saturday to start off Sunday, and then it kind of fell off uh, some of those guys on Sunday. But almost another legit sweat and, uh, for a, another legit Sunday sweat uh, for the following week. So back to back weeks there. Uh, did the showdown slate as well. I was able to cash that. Moving on to the, the following week, uh, I was able to. You know, cash that, nothing too crazy. Obviously, make some money there. And then the following week after that, I was able to cash once again. So I've had a lot of success so far this season with these PGA plays and picks. Last week was the only week I haven't cashed and made money because uh, I had Sam Burns. Unfortunately, I landed on him in three out of my four lineups. I'm not really sure why. And of course, he had his worst career round, worst career tournament of his career. And it was just, it was got, got awful. It, it just made me so mad. Had a bunch of other good picks like Spieth, like Scotty. Victor, Cantley, all over those guys. But unfortunately, you know, when you have a guy who shoot seven over and have one of the worst career uh, starts, to, uh, Thursday, Friday starts to his uh, career, it does, it kind of screws you. But yeah, ton of success. Looking forward to getting into these four core plays for you guys. Hope you guys like the series. If you do, hit that like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my four core plays. So the first player I have that's going to be a core play is going to be Scotty Scheffler here at 10-6 for me. Uh, the reason why I like him is... He offers a very cheap price tag for a guy who's playing playing fantastic recently and pretty much the past two years straight, as you can see. Started off the, the Century Tournament Champions with a tie seventh, then he got tied eleventh in American Express. Then he obviously defended there at the Phoenix Open uh, a few weeks ago. Genesis Invit Invitational tied twelve, and then last week at the Arnold Palmer, pretty much the hardest course on the PGA Tour besides the four majors, uh, Bay Hill. And he got a tied fourth. He was right there going into the fourth round. And then unfortunately, he kind of had, uh, as you can see here, just not the best round here. Off the off the tee, he struggled a little bit. Approached the green, he wasn't the best. Around the green, he was a lot better than he was and has been for the whole season. But then putting, it was just, you know, a bad putting uh, day for him as well. He also had to play, play with Tyrell Hatton. And, you know, that adds like three or four strokes to your total because that dude is just all over the place uh, with his frustration and loudness. And uh, I think it really affected Scotty. But yeah. He was right there uh, last week, had the chance of getting into the playoff and potentially winning and just couldn't make the last few putts, but still was able to get a, a tied fourth, which is crazy. But the reason why I like him, besides obviously his recent play, is the fact that he just offers a very, very cheap price tag compared, compared to a John Rahm. Like, I do like John Rahm, and I do like Rory, but I, I just think it's easier to get to Scotty Scheffler, who's $400 cheaper than Rory, and then... 1200 cheaper than John Rahm and he offers the same upside the same consistency and he's been really really close to the same realm as Rory and John Rahm obviously he hasn't gotten as many wins in the past like six months as those two combined or as those two 
but he's he's right there. And all, all we really need is Scotty to pick up the the putting, and he's going to be back to his form of pretty much the best player in the world alongside John and Rory. Uh, so I, I really like Scotty for his price tag and his recent play. And as we can see here, uh, if you guys don't know the Players Championship, it's a very volatile course. There, there's guys like, for example, Patrick Cantlay, who's in my he's going to be pretty chalky this week. He's um missed the last three cuts so it's like it's very volatile of like people who've had success here and who haven't uh it's really hard to bank on people who've had previous success like they could end up doing nothing uh guys like patrick cantley who've you know had no success here recently are coming into the week you know super super hot super super good so i mean it's just one of those things it's very volatile don't be afraid to take chances on people but for scotty here as we can see so far on the season scotty scheffler is number five in strokes game total Number two in tee to green and number two in off the tee uh, approach. He's 12 and then around the green, 56, putting 100. And the key stats for this week that I'm really focusing on is stroke gained off the tee and stroke screen, strokes gained approach. Those are the two uh, most important stats for this week. Uh, everything else doesn't really matter. Like around the green, putting doesn't matter too, too much. So I, I'm really focusing on who are the best you know, drivers and who are the best iron players approaching the green. Uh, everything kind of falls into place and scotty is just that main guy for me you know we get him at a, a cheap price tag compared to the other two top two guys uh we get him coming into you know very very solid form uh, almost you know having a, a chance of winning uh last week obviously he had that win at the phoenix open so we're getting him at great form get him at a very cheap price tag and he's top five for both those stats that we really want as you can see off the tee uh the, in the mass, past 26 rounds uh, he's number two, number two in tee to green the past two rounds. And then approaching the green, he's top 12 right now. Uh, I mean, so Scotty's right there in the two stats for we want, tee to green and approaching the green. Obviously where he's lost strokes is, you know, around the green, 56 and putting 100 right now. Last season he was floating, I think he was like 55, 54 for putting. So I, I really expect him to kind of pick it up in terms of putting, kind of figure it out. Everything else is sh in shape, in form. So I really, really like Scotty. As my main like top spin up for this slate the second player i'm going to build my lamps around and put in most of my lineups is going to be patrick cantley here uh sitting at 9700 he's one of the top high-end 9k plays um and for patrick cantley as i mentioned he's missed the cut the past three times here at the players championship has not been good here but i really don't care about that as i said it's very very volatile and he is really coming into form recently as you can see uh, wasn't the best to start off the year. Obviously, he had that tie too at the Shriners in uh, uh, the fall. But then, you know, tournament champions tied 16th, American Express tied 26th, and at the Phoenix Open, he missed the cut. But then the past two weeks, he's really, really turned it on. As you can see, third at the Genesis in the Invitational, and then last week, a tied fourth at the Arnold Palmer. And as I said, he really fits the stat profile of someone we really want to target for this week. As you can see, T to green, strokes gained. He is number seventh in the past 20 rounds. And then for off the tee, or excuse me, approaching the green, he's tied 60, or he's 62 right now, which obviously isn't the best. We want someone who's a little bit better than that. But if we pull up his last week here, uh, let's see here. Let's pull him up his last week. As you can see, at Bay Hill, one of the toughest courses on tour, he was number 16 in terms of approaching the green. So off the green, he was number two last week. He was approaching the green. He was number 16. He's had two top fives the past two weeks. So really, really coming into form here. I don't care about the, the previous, you know, missed cuts. I, I really like Cantlay. He's really turning on here. As you can see, got tied tied fourth. Uh, went, you know, four under on the last day here to almost sneak into the uh, the leaderboard, uh, the lead first place. Uh, but yeah, he's really, really heating up. Uh, he comes in in some great form. He's another one of those guys who's very, very solid ball striker overall. Uh, this pulled last year's stats for you guys to see. As you can see, um, you know, off the tee, he's eighth. Approaching the green, he's 60 sec 62nd right now. Uh, let's pull him up from last year. Uh, last year, as you can see, off the tee, he was 17th, so he's top 20. And approaching the green, he was 38th. So he's just a very, very solid guy. And he's usually very, very solid at putting. Uh, and he's one of those guys, kind of like Scotty so far this year, where they're really struggling around the green uh, and then putting. They're just not the best right now. So really expecting them to kind of heat up with the flat stick, do a little bit better chipping. I mean, the tee to green is there, uh, off the tee is there as well. So I really, really like Scotty is like my second uh, kind of guy to build around for this uh, tournament, even though he hasn't had the, you know, the 
past success. I do think he'll have success. He's on a, a nice little uh, hot streak here going into this tournament. So I really like uh, Patrick Cantley for this week. The third pick I have is going to be Tony Finau here, sitting at 9.2K on the lower end of the 9K range. Now, Tony is just kind of been, he's like been like a shark in the water, just kind of circling. You know, he really hasn't had a, a fantastic week yet. You know, he had that tie seventh at the Century Tournament Champions, tie 16, tie 9, tie 14, tie 20, tie 24th. So he's really been floating around the top five, hasn't broken into it yet. Uh, but that's because he kind of around the green and the putting's really kind of destroyed Tony. Uh, and I really expect him to really pick it up this week. So I really like Tony. He's, you know, circling the waters. He's really looking for his uh, his first win on the tour this season. Obviously, in the summer, uh, he was fantastic. Multiple wins. We were all over that on Twitter, betting him to win some of those great, great wins there. But I, I really like him. He's really starting to slowly, slowly pick it up this season. Uh, as we, And he kind of fits the build, as I mentioned. If you want guys who are great off the tee, as you can see, off the tee, he's 23rd. Usually a little bit better, but he's slowly starting to pick that up. Approaching the green, obviously, he's third on in the whole field right now in the past um, 25 rounds. Or excuse me, in past, yeah, past 25 rounds, he's number three in the whole field on the approaching the green. As you can see right now, he's really struggling around the green, really struggling putting. Who does that fit? That fits the build that we're looking for. Guys who are great off the tee, who are great at approaching the green, and they just need to figure out putting. They just need to get that, the flat stick hot one week. And I really think Tony Finau is one of those guys, as we saw last uh, season, last summer, uh, he was on fire, won multiple times, just was just one of the best players in the world during that stretch. And I expect him to get back to that form here. You know, he's finally won a few times. He's won some big tournaments. Now he has that success. So I, I really expect Tony to figure it out. Uh, he fits the build, the same Scotty Scheffler build, same Patrick Hanley build. They're all great off the tee. They're all great at approach. They just really haven't gotten hot yet in terms of the putting and the chipping. So like all three, all three are great. And now moving on to my fourth pick. The fourth pick to round out the four core plays for me is going to be Cam Young here at 8.5K. Uh, you know, one of those guys who last year as a rookie, he was fantastic. Almost multiple wins. Uh, was very close to uh, winning for the first time multiple times. Uh, just didn't really get it done. And to start off the season, he's, he started pretty slow. Uh, pretty under the radar, you know, tied 13th TLC, then a 26th place, 64. But then the past two weeks, he's he's really starting to, to reel back in here. At the Genesis, tied 20, and then a, a top 10 here at the Honor of Palmer. One of those guys who last week, you know, kind of was floating in that range where if he got hot, really could have put some pressure on K Kitayama and those leaders of kind of maybe sneaking in the playoffs or, you know, winning. Uh, unfortunately, he just had an average day. I think he shot one under. But he's one of those guys, as I mentioned in the past, you know, three guys, Scotty, Cantley, Tony, he's slowly starting to figure it out. And he's one of those guys who is great off the tee here. As you can see, T Green, he's 11th in the field the past 22 rounds. Off the tee, he's, t you know, 12th past 22 rounds. And in the approach to Green, he is 14th in the past 22 rounds. So, you know, it's kind of the, the same theme we're going with here. Guys that are great off the tee uh, and great approaching the Green, all four fit the bill here. And it really just comes down to, can they putt? I really think they can. As you can see here on the season so far, he's been terrible putting the ball. 188th in the field so far out of all the guys on the tour in putting. So that's god awful. But as we look at last week here, uh, you can see that the numbers aren't that bad. Uh, 61, he still lost 2.3 strokes to the field uh, putting. And he still finished, what, tied 10th, you know, five under. Was it three, two strokes back? Or excuse me, four strokes back. So... He had a chance, uh, you know, on that Sunday to kind of, you know, really lay into it, uh, try to apply some pressure. But, you know, once again, the putting wasn't there for him. Uh, and it just really hasn't been there all season. But he's slowly, slowly starting to pick it up. And that's why I like him. He's one of those guys who can easily get super, super hot uh, when it comes to the flat stick. As you can see, he has the, the last year, 68th overall in putting. So he, he is a lot better at putting than um, what he's been doing so far this season. So... If he gets hot, if he figures it out, I uh, expect Cam Young to potentially get his first win of the season here at the Players' Championship. Obviously, the TD Green's there, off the tees there. Approach is there so far this season. He's been on fire with those. It's just the putting. Can this man putt? I think he can. Uh, I think he, he's going to really turn it on this week. All four of these guys, you know, are all great at the TD Green, off the tee approach. It just can these guys putt. I think they all start figuring out. Obviously, Scotty, one of the best players in the world. He's been great recently. 
Patrick Cantley's turning it on. Tony Finau's turning it on recently. Cam Young is slowly starting to turn it on. So I like all four of these guys. These are going to be one of my four core plays. Obviously, you can't fit them all in. If you Actually, you, you technically can, but you have to play uh, two guys who most likely won't make the cut, and it, you just don't feel great about rostering guys at 6K. But right now, um, you know, you can just take the approach of, you know, building around two of them, building around three of them, kind of how you guys want to go with that, you can. But yeah, these are my four core plays that I'm going to build around build around maybe one of them, two of them, maybe even three of them together, kind of mix and match all that good stuff. So these are the four players I really like for the, the Players Championship. Hope you guys uh, have a great one. If you guys like the video, hit that like button and subscribe. I'll start making more PGA videos for the rest of the season going into the summer to kind of bridge the gap between the end of the NBA and the start of the new NFL season. So once again, hope you guys like the video, hit the like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.